Hey guys, pretty Rachel. Hope you guys are doing great. Now, Joy is a Malaysian homegrown brand that has been making really cool devices for the mass market, and they are one of the easiest to recommend go-to brand, especially if you're looking for a value for money machine. Last year, we saw Qualcomm announce their new processors for laptops. So Joy and Qualcomm started working together to make this laptop right here. Now, this is the Joybook SK3000, a fully functional Windows 10 OS that runs Qualcomm Snapdragon under the hood. And we're going to talk about this particular laptop in this video. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. And you're watching The Adventures of Esper. Let's begin. Now let's just get the specification out of the way because that's the most important part. The laptop runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 processor with 4 gigs of RAM and comes with 128 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded with the help of a micro SD card slot and you can even use a SIM slot to stay connected to the internet at all times. And that's just not it because this laptop runs a Windows 10 Pro and that definitely takes the experience to the whole nother level. Now since this is a laptop, I'm going to treat it as a laptop for the first part and then later on we can talk about the specification. Let's just start off with the build quality. The laptop is constructed out of aluminium, making it one of the nicest laptops to feel, especially in this budget page. And once you open up the lid, you do feel a slight heaviness on the lid, which you would usually don't feel it on other laptops. But that's alright because this laptop is obviously constructed out of aluminium overall. So it's something that you're going to face anyway, but it's not going to hinder your experience. Once you open up the laptop, you're greeted with the display, pretty much the rest of it. Starting off with the display, you have a 12.5 inch full HD IPS panel and you have a chiclet style keyboard at the bottom and a really wide trackpad. The display on this particular laptop, I'm really happy about it because they have went for an IPS panel. Now, especially in this price range, getting an IPS panel is a dream. And I love the fact that this particular laptop has an IPS panel, which means if you're planning to use this for media consumption, you're going to enjoy watching Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, whatever you name it, you're going to definitely enjoy it. Now, looking at the keyboard, they have went for a chiclet star keyboard. I actually like the keyboard on the Joybook because they went for a proper keyboard because unlike other manufacturers in the market, usually they, what they do is that they shorten the keys in order to make space for more keys. But Joy has done a tremendous job in making sure that all the essential keys stays the same, like the right shift key, the arrow keys are still fine. And I actually liked typing on this particular keyboard. Now, finally, moving on to the trackpad, the trackpad is wider, which means you can move left to right with a lot of space. But with Windows Precision drivers installed, that means your trackpad experience is going to be good as well. And you don't have to worry anything about that. Now let's talk about the hero of the show, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor under the hood. Now this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 processor, which is an octa-core processor that you pretty much would find on a smartphone and that exact processor is now on a laptop. Now last year Qualcomm announced that they are going to enter into the laptop division, which means that only going to get exciting because we're going to have more competition in making really nice laptops for the mass market. And that also going to play a really huge role in making best affordable laptop that's going to conquer a lot of markets. This Joybook is definitely one of the best example and it's a living proof that it will happen. Now, in terms of performance, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 is definitely a decent processor. It is capable of doing some simple tasks such as getting your office suite work done in no time and probably a little bit of light browsing and a consumption of entertainment of your choice based on the specification. But that also leaves a room for more opportunity because the good thing about Qualcomm Snapdragon powered laptops is that these run full fledged Windows 10. You don't have to go through the whole thing where if you own a tablet for portability purposes and you can only do half of your job work there and you need to come back home to get the rest of it done on a proper Windows machine. Now, one of the popular questions that revolves around this particular laptop that is a Qualcomm Snapdragon based processor or any ARM based processor for that matter is that can it run complex application? And that is a very good question. We all know complex application has always run on an x86 or an x64 based platform, 
because that is something that we all know for a fact runs really well. But ARM-based processor is definitely relatively new to the whole Windows ecosystem. That means they would really need to work together with Microsoft in order to get things done. And is Microsoft getting things done? Yes. Here's why. I'm going to talk about the ARM-based processor and the 32 and 64-bit platform and compare it against. ARM-based processor is a basically simple processor that can only take up simple tasks. In technical terms, they are called RISC. They are called Reduced Instruction Set Computing Processors. So that means it can only take up enough number of codes and they can only handle basic number of applications. Whereas x64 and x86 platform, on the other hand, they can handle tasks in a very complex manner, which is why you get to see them running really well today. And these are called the CISC, Complex Instruction Set Computing Processors. Now, these particular processors have been in the market for quite some time, and they are literally the processors of all time. ARM-based processor came to life in 1980s, and ever since then, ARM-based processor has been the best kind of processors to go for simple set of instruction-based activities. That's it. The ARM-based processors are definitely good in certain aspects because they do offer the same kind of clock speed as the x86 and x64 based processor. But the best part about the ARM based processor is that the power consumption on those are much more lower than the x86 and x64 platform, making them a really good option for really good task set of devices, which is why you see Qualcomm has been dominating on smartphones for a longest period of time, and they can get things done almost really good in the palm of your hand and have such a powerful device thanks to the OS that takes advantage of ARM. So ARM is definitely new to the whole scene and it's definitely struggling to keep up. But does that mean this is the end of ARM? Definitely not, because here's why. Microsoft is also working with Qualcomm to make this particular experience much better because as of last year in December 10, 2020, Microsoft has announced a nightly update or basically a early preview build where they have made a emulation that's going to be embedded into ARM based Windows 10 applications. That means you can run a 32 bit application on an ARM laptop. That means there are hope for you to use this laptop pretty much as your daily driver for pretty much everything. Now that is definitely happening, which is why even Qualcomm announced the next generation of processor, which is the 8CX2. And it's something that I'm really looking forward for. And in fact, Joy has also announced that this particular laptop that they're gonna make in the future will also perhaps be powered by 8CX. But that's the talk of future. That means there is a hope that Qualcomm platform will be a permanent here to stay on Windows platform. So which raises the question, where does it put the Joybook SK3000? The Joybook SK3000 is a really good laptop if you're looking for a basic laptop that gets every single task done. This is the kind of laptop that's going to definitely change and shape the future. And coming in at 2199 ringgit, that's not too much to ask for. Now, before we end this video, huge thanks to Joy for making this video possible. You can actually check out the article in the link down in the description below and make sure to like us on our Facebook, follow us on our Twitter and Instagram because that's where I post all things tech related. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as we create more cool content like this laptop here. That's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.